I'm Pam Seidel at the foot of the Sherburn Street off-ramp from the westbound Gardner Expressway. Well, if you were waiting impatiently for another ramp to reopen the York Bay Young off-ramp, well, you got your wish a few days ago, but never fear, the traffic jams will continue when this ramp sh shuts down Friday until the springtime. That's at least six months. It'll no doubt add to the frustration of already disgruntled drivers who face delays at every turn. It's going to be a nightmare. A nightmare is right. On top of the 600 plus road construction projects going on in the city, add to that yet another major closure on the Gardner Expressway. The Sherburn Jarvis off ramp will soon be closed for a full rebuild. It's a major construction project. Pack your patience, uh, build lots of extra time into your, uh, into your travels. In addition to the ramp, there will be lane restrictions overnight Friday while crews set up the work zone. After that, for the first phase anyway, all lanes of the Gardener will remain open. But construction will soon begin on the deck and girders of the Gardener between Jarvis and Cherry Streets. And then there will only be two lanes open in both directions. It's all part of what the city's chief engineer describes as critically important work. We budget a billion dollars in the renewal of our aging infrastructure and that's everything from sewers, water mains, roads, bridges and work on the gardener. So, um, you know, it's, it's an awful lot of catch-up work to do. As you noted, I mean, we have projects on 600 streets right across the city. So this is the busiest construction season on record for us. Exactly. So the work on the gardener uh, is really important work. You know, this section of the gardener is nearing the end of its service life. And at the end of the day, our objective is to make sure that, you know, we make it safe not only for now, but well into the future. D'Andrea recommends using a traffic app to find alternate routes, like, for example, Richmond, if you're coming southbound off the DVP. He also points out that in order to minimize disruption and accelerate the timeline, crews will be operating for the most part 24 7 on the project, with the noisiest work ending by 11 p.m. Drivers are resigned to what seems like never ending traffic torments. Just got to keep your cool and keep on keeping on. <laughs> Now, for any driver who attempts to use the Jarvis Street on-ramp to get onto the Gardener, they know how incredibly backed up that ramp can get, especially at rush hour. Well, guess what? The city says that eventually that ramp will also have to be shut down for a rebuild. But at this point, there is no date scheduled for that. For complete information on the Gardener construction projects, you can go to the City of Toronto's website or go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras, for the link.